Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Polo G again, man. It seems like we've been talking about Polo G a lot lately, man. He got arrested in Miami a couple months back. I think it was like the, the night of his album release party. Now you had the situation with his mom just this past week. And now Polo G himself has got arrested, man. It looks like he got arrested out in L.A. this time, man. He was out on the West Coast probably handling business, and things went all bad, man. Now, I don't know why Polo G keeps popping up or getting busted for things here and there, but this is definitely going to lead to his career going in the wrong direction, man. Okay, now, before we get to the specifics, though, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Polo G just a little bit, man. Now, Polo G, man, I am getting tired of hearing his name wrapped up in something negative. Now, all these situations aren't his fault, man, so I won't hold him to that. But lately, he has been in the news a lot about some things that have to do with some crime, some street stuff. You had his homeboy, B-Money 1300, who lost his life just a couple of weeks ago. Then you had his mom's house get ran up in last week, right? And now you have this situation here where he's getting arrested again. The last time he got arrested was in Miami, and that made headlines. And of course, there's headlines about this. Now, the story that I'm going to be referencing is from none other than TMZ. Everyone is familiar with them and how, what they put out there. And this is what the headline says. It says, rapper Polo G busted in DTLA on weapons charge. So basically, they're saying that rapper Polo G was busted in downtown LA on a weapons charge. Now, I don't know why he... Well, let me stop playing, man. I know why he got a weapon. I understand why any rapper in this point in time has a weapon on them or feels the need to protect themselves. I am no type of gun person or gun advocate or none of that stuff, man. It's just when it comes to self-protection, I understand where a rapper will be coming from, especially in the last two years, man. It's looking crazy out there. It's real greasy, man. I'll say that much. Now, the story starts off by saying this. It says, Polo G is in trouble because of guns once again. The rapper was arrested on another weapons charge. Law enforcement sources tell TMZ the rapper was arrested on Monday afternoon in downtown LA after cops say they found him carrying a concealed firearm, which is a felony. Now, stop right there. Now, we all know that different states have different laws and different states are strict about guns and some are not real strict about them, specifically the South. You know, it's pretty fair as far as, you know, weapons and stuff like that. It's a more, you know, they got liberal policies about that. Not liberal as in the political party, but meaning that they're more relaxed about those type of things. You know what I mean? Because I don't talk politics. Don't mix that up. Dog. You feel me? Now, to be real, he's in L.A. I, from everything I've ever heard, L.A. is not cool like that on guns. Just like how New York is not cool like that on guns, you know? Maybe not to the extreme of New York City, but I know L.A. just isn't that cool from everything that I hear and all the reports and different stories of other rappers. So hopefully, man, he doesn't get hit with the big felony. That would be devastating, man. But a concealed firearm, obviously, in Los Angeles, that carries that penalty, you know, as one of the penalties. Not sure if that's exactly what he's going to get. And not even sure that he's guilty, man. Like I said, everybody's innocent until proven guilty to me. Now, the story continues by saying this, man. It says, we're told Polo G was a passenger in a car that was pulled over, though it's not clear exactly why. In any event, cops say after searching the car, they found the firearm. We're told a male juvenile was also arrested and booked on the same charge. Now, the last time that he got arrested, don't forget, man, his brother got arrested along with him, man. Maybe that's the male juvenile who was with him. Last time, I believe it was his brother that was with him that was the male juvenile. I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that, but I think it was. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was his brother because it seems like they roll tight like that. You know what I'm saying? You find him, you find his brother, you know? But it's wild, man, that Polo G is finding himself in this situation. But if you think back to just a couple of days ago, about a week ago, his mom's house did get kicked in, man. The door did get kicked in. So he might be feeling an extra need to protect himself right now. So hopefully anybody who sees his case or if this even pans out to be true, he makes it to trial or something, can understand his situation and at least understand why he feels that way or why he might be rolling like that. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's a concealed weapon 
in the vehicle. Who does it belong to? Is in that just like a roulette game? Like who who does this belong to? They pick a person or everybody get that charge. You know what I mean? It could be one of those situations as well. Now the story also says this. It says the arrest comes nearly three months after his album release party when he was arrested in Miami after allegedly attacking a cop. Cops say cops there say they also found two handguns inside a bag after the Cadillac he had been riding in was pulled over for blacked out tinted windows. So obviously in that situation, he had blacked out tinted windows on a Cadillac truck and, you know, it was pulled over for that reason. And upon searching the vehicle, they found two handguns inside that vehicle as well, man. So obviously, man, this, this is a trend and it doesn't look good. I'm going to say that much. It doesn't look good when you stack it up together like that. Now, the story finishes by saying this. It says Polo G was also a passenger during that stop. So they're talking about the stop in Miami. He was a passenger in that situation as well. He was not the driver. Cops said he became combative and they struggled to get handcuffs on him. The escalation left one cop injured. Now, if y'all remember, there was a video about that and everything. You could see him kind of tussling or whatever. You see his mom came out there and she was speaking on his behalf trying to, you know, make sure that he goes free or try to get him set free. And obviously it wasn't going down like that and he got arrested, right? Now, it also says we've reached out to Polo's attorney, Bradford Cohen, for comment. So far, no word back. Now, Bradford Cohen, that sounds familiar. I'm not sure if he's one of those uh, hotshot Atlanta attorneys, you know, that cover most of these Atlanta rappers or even though Polo G's from Chicago, I know that he, obviously he's got a residence in Atlanta. I'm not saying where, but based on the news stories that came out about the home invasion situation, right? But man, this, this is crazy. I'm not going to lie, man. And this looks really bad for Polo G and his career going forward. Because let's be for real, man. Polo G has a clear cut, a clean cut image, I should say. When it comes to rappers, especially rappers who talk that drill stuff, and to be real, Polo G really ain't a drill rapper. He just happens to be from Chicago. You know, he's not really a drill rapper. Most of this stuff that he talks about is almost in the emo field where he's talking about his emotions and different situations he's been through. He's not scared to go in depth about his relationships and stuff like that, which is cool and dope. You know what I'm saying? But all these cases and all these situations with guns and stuff, his homeboy getting shot, all that doesn't match up with his current image in the rap game. And hopefully he doesn't take a hit for that. You know what I'm saying? Because I like Polo G, man. I think he brings a lot to the game. And he's just one of those artists of the time right now. And it, he can relate to a lot of the youth and the people who are in the rap game or just getting in the rap game. You know what I mean? And show them how to do, do it the right way, even labeling up right and everything, man. Everything seems right on his path. It just keeps getting hit with these roadblocks with all these cases. Now, I went on a little rant at the end there, but I just wanted to clear it up and say that, you know, Polo G is innocent until proven guilty. But what do you guys think about this situation? Do you think that he keeps getting into too many gun related issues or violence related issues or too much going on around him and it's going to hurt his brand at one point? Or do you feel like this is just a rap game as it is right now? Everybody seems to be having these type of issues, and it is what it is. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell, so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.